The campaign train of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi, is in Oweri, the Imo state capital, for a town hall meeting with members of the business community in the state. But before his interface with them, he seizes the opportunity to visit some major markets in the state to woo those doing business there. From Alaba spare parts market to a Boshishi timber market, as well as the relief food market, traders in their numbers troop out to receive Mr. Obi and his team. He later proceeds to the venue of the town hall meeting where members of the Imo business community welcome him. <laughs> In his address to the people, the Labour Party flag bearer promises to provide purposeful leadership in addition to tackling corruption if elected president. Our commitment is total. And you will see it happen in Nigeria. In my time of 2050, go there, vote for LP, stay there, and it's all in its place, right to the people. On the sideline of that engagement, some Labour Party chieftains in the state say with the level of reception accorded Mr. Peter Obi in all parts of the country, it is obvious that he will emerge victorious at the poll. This is a new door. This is a new door. And um, I enjoy all Imo people to please come out, all also Oru East and all the people to come out in mass on February 25th to vote for Peter Obi and all the Labour Party candidates. The people received uh, their president today. You could see it. The love is extremely massive. Meanwhile, the clock ticks to the D-Day, in this case, February 25, and political parties and their candidates are crisscrossing the country, wooing voters and giving reasons why they should be voted for.